GMGM, GM. the sun is shining, the bears are chirping, and we're back to cooking. I should have probably changed my t-shirt, but I decided for the sake of continuity, I'll keep with it. Okay, so in this episode, we are going to log in with Solana Wallet. We're going to add a menu screen, and we're going to say that now you can log in with your wallet. Phantom, backpack, or whatever else. So, without no further ado, let's get right into it. So, to be able to do anything Web3 oriented in your Godot project, you will need to install a plugin, a Godot Solana SDK plugin, which me and my partner Axel have been developing for quite, uh, quite some time already. So, uh, what you will need to do is you will need to go here to the releases. Uh, the link is going to be in the description where you can find this uh, GitHub repository. And here in releases, you can find uh, the latest version and you download it. Once you have downloaded it, you'll see it here. Wait a second. Uh, you'll see it here. Gorod Solana SDK 1.1. Okay. So what we're gonna do is this is the add-ons. So we're gonna just drag the whole add-ons folder into, into our main menu project. So I'll, I'm gonna open it in file manager. And here I'm just gonna drag it in. And this is the add-ons folder. So if you already have add-ons plugin folder, if you have the add-ons folder inside your project, then just add so long as decay. But since we don't have add-ons, we're gonna just drag on everything in here just like that. You will see that there's going to be a bunch of errors popping up, but don't worry. There's a fix for it. You have to go to project settings, then to plugins, and you'll see that this is a disabled plugin, which we just added, Solana SDK. You just press enable, and it will work just fine. Uh, no errors, no nothing. You may, will, you may, we may... We may need to restart the project at some point. Maybe there's going to be some errors, but I hope everything's going to be just fine. Uh, okay, so now that we have this add-on, let's just quickly try and see what it provides um, and how can we start adding the lo login with, um, with your wallet things. So, uh, what, uh, when, you, when I added the plugin, uh, one very important thing happened. Uh, you will see here in auto loads, um, this thing popped up, Solana service. There's also scene loader, but we're going to remove it. It's not necessary. Uh, we're going to remove it with the next um, thing, so don't worry about it. There's Solana service. This is what you need uh, to worry about. Or no worry about to take notice of. So Solana service is the auto load. And you can actually add any type of scene as an auto load, which means when you start the game up, it's going to uh, create an instance of this thing in your game. So let me just show you how it works. Um, actually, I don't know if it's going to work fine, but um, let's see. Yeah, so check this out. Now, uh, this is the local scene, right? This is what you have here. And the remote is what's happening on a, in, the, in the game right now. So you can see Solana service was added here. We don't have it in the scene right here, but because it's in auto loads, it was added here among other nodes in the scene. And because it's an auto load, we can call it from anywhere in the script. We just... You're going to see in just a second. So uh, let's inspect what the Solana service scene actually do. It's, it has these parameters. So the main Solana service has RPC cluster. You can switch between DevNet and Mainnet. It also has transaction processor. I don't think uh, you need to... You, we don't worry about this one right now. Uh, this is, I think, the most important one for now. Wallet service. This uh, script is responsible for logging you in and keeping your account... Um, throughout the scene. So you can switch scenes and you will still have your own identity as your wallet that you have logged in. And there are a couple of parameters here. You can use a generated wallet, which means um, it, it basically when you're testing inside editor, this is what you want to use. Use generated. If you have it on, uh, then it's going to just create a random wallet and assign it to you. So when you press login, you will not need to sign anything and you will just get a um, a wallet generated specific for your device ID, which is always going to be the same. Uh, but I've also have this custom wallet. So um, I have uh, added, which, which, which is the thing that I'm using. I've added in my uh, folder of key pairs. 
So I just I, I have basically a folder of keepers where I'm hold, uh, holding my um, wallets. Let me just kind of show you right here. So this is just my wallet, my development wallet, which I use for testing stuff inside before I'm building the game. And basically what it's going to do is going to use this wallet instead of randomly generated one. And auto login, we don't want to do it uh, just now. And we're gonna get to other other parts a bit later. But this is what we want to do right now. And let's switch to DevNet. I think it's gonna be better if we switch to DevNet for development sakes, of course. Let's save this and we're ready to roll. Okay, so now that we have the SDK all set up and configured, in the next episode, we're gonna create a menu scene and allow user to log in with their wallet. See you in the next one.